Welcome to News English from Nairion Television Station. Here comes the news today. Yesterday afternoon, the Study Committee of the Nai Provincial Party Committee worked with the Party Committee of the Provincial Committee to listen to reports on the state budget revenue and expenditure management situation and solutions to effectively exploit revenue sources in 2023 and estimated budget revenue and expenditure in 2024. On behalf of the Party Committee of the Provincial People's Committee, the Acting Chairman of the Provincial People's Committee reported on the situation of budget revenue and expenditure in the area. Accordingly, by November the 19th, state budget revenue in the area was nearly 49,200 billion Vietnam dong, reaching 80% of the year's estimate. The estimated budget revenue for the whole year is over 58 trillion Vietnam dong, reaching 94% of the estimate. Budget expenditure as of November the 19th reached 62% of the estimate, equal to 98% over the same period. The estimated budget for the whole year is over 24,400 billion Vietnam dong, reaching 88% of the estimate. Regarding the 2024 estimate, Dominic Province is signed to collect 55,170 billion Vietnam dong, down 11% compared to 2023. Comrade Nguyen Hong Lin, member of the Party Central Committee, Secretary of Dominic Provincial Party Committee, acknowledged the efforts and at the same time noted and focused on removing difficulties and improving the environment to promote production and business of enterprises focusing on site clearance and speed up the disbursement of public investment capital, reviewing revenue sources, including outstanding debt, to mobilize the highest level of state budget revenue. Currently, FDI Enterprises are investing in Vietnam with about 38,600 projects across fields, with total registered capital of more than 460 billion USD and a disbursement rate of 63.5%. The leading localities in the country in a treaty FDI capital are Ho Chi Minh City, Binh Dung, Dong Nai, Hai Phong, and so on. From the beginning of the year until now, the global economic situation is difficult, but FDI capital invested in Vietnam increased. In Dunai alone, according to data from the Provincial Industrial Zones Management Board, by mid-November, foreign direct investment enterprises invested in Dunai with nearly 29.5 billion USD, of which businesses have dispersed more than 22.7 billion USD, reaching over 77% of the total registered investment capital. In the first 10 months of 2023 alone, the total FDI investment capital in Dunai has reached nearly 1 billion USD, exceeding the plan by 300 million USD. Yesterday, the Vietnam US Trade Forum 2023 was organized by the Ministry of Industry and Trade in Ho Chi Minh City. With the theme raising the level, getting started to discuss the Vietnam-U.S. comprehensive strategic partnership and the implications for economic trade and investment cooperation between Vietnam and the United States. This is an annual event held continuously from 2018 to present. Every year, the forum attracts 300 to 400 live participants more than 1,000 online followers and tens of thousands of views via serial channels. With the participation and sharing of opinions from ministries, branches, businesses, associations, as well as experts from Vietnam and the United States, the program provides a comprehensive and multidimensional channel for exchange information and views on market trends, identifying cooperation prospects, and recommending practical and timely solutions for business to adapt, seizing new market opportunities and develop breakthroughs. 
North Korea today announced that it has successfully placed a spy satellite into orbit. North Korea's Central News Agency KCNA said the Chalima-1 rocket flew along the predetermined flight path and accurately placed the Maligyong-1 reconnaissance satellite into orbit 705 seconds after launch. Leader Kim Jong-un observed the launch from the launch site in Tongcheng-ri and congratulated officials, scientists and technicians. According to KCNA, the latest launch is North Korea's legal right to strengthen its self-defense capabilities and announced that it will launch a number of more spy satellites in a short period of time. Immediately in response, South Korea partially suspended the 2018 Inter-Korean Military Tension Reduction Agreement. According to the proposal approved by an extraordinary cabinet meeting chaired by Prime Minister Han Duk Su, so we restore reconnaissance and surveillance activities around the inter-Korean border. Today, Dutch voters will vote to elect a new Prime Minister and a new National Assembly for the first time in more than 10 years. The two most potential candidates for the position of Prime Minister are Trotter's Minister Dylan Yasukov Zagarius and Peter Armzik, member of the National Assembly. Ms. Zagarius is the successor for former Prime Minister Mark Rutte to lead the People's Party for Freedom and Democracy and is facing fierce competition from Mr. Armzik of the Dutch Christian Democratic Party. Armzik has received widespread praise and fame for his role in drawing attention to the child care benefit tax scandal which caused the collapse of former Prime Minister Rutte's government. According to the latest polls, the election race promises to be tried and the final result is difficult to predict. That's all for the news English for today's and goodbye.